Hello, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. So today I'm going to review the multi-purpose team cleaner from Simber. And the model number is the NV286. And all the comments will be listed on below where I bought it from Amazon. It's 130 bucks. Chemical free cleaning. Let's get to it. So this is the mop head. The mop head came in the box. It's one of the uh, one of the parts. And underneath I'm trying to take out is the glider. The carpet glider it's called. And as you can tell, it's uh, underneath is like bristles for probably cleaning the tile floors and the holes where that's where the steam comes out. There's the uh, carpet glider, putting it back on again. There's the symbol, sim bar, and it comes in a nice red color. Next in the box is two microfiber pads. Uh, you're all familiar with them, you can clean the wood floors. Get two of them. There's 70% polyester and 30% cotton. Yeah. That's it. Nothing special. This is the measuring cup. So there's two measuring cups. One measuring cup is to fill the water, and the other one is the, uh, the water funnel, as you can tell right here. That's what you put on the boiler for it to fill the, uh, the steamer. And on the side, there's markings, and the markings are in milliliters. And that's where you can fill, kind of know how much water to put in when you put on the uh, the boiler. Next is the triangle brush. Strong bristles all the way around. That's probably used for cleaning uh, tile floors. This is called the scrub pad. The scrub pad, uh, we don't know what to use this for. I guess piles maybe, perhaps, or cleaning wood. Now, these are nylon utility brushes. There's five black nylon utility brushes, and they give you one brass one as well. I wish they give you two brass, and but they didn't. So in total, there's six of them all together. So five black ones and one brass. There's the brass right now. Pretty soft. This is the steam jet nozzle. The construction is very uh, well built. As you can tell, the little steam logo is kind of cute. There's the brass that the water comes out, and the quality is very well. Here's the wand. The wand is, uh, they give me two in the box. I'm going to show you that later on in the description. There's the little button on the side which you can attach the other wand together. And yeah, nice construction built as well. This is called the squeegee. I guess it's used for cleaning glass or cleaning the floor with uh, with with steam. I don't think I'm gonna be using this as well. Not so sure, sure why, but the construction and the quality build, it was very heavy and it would felt very, very nice in the hands. Now I'm trying to take out the, uh, the steam out of the box. As you can tell, the packaging was very well, very well, nice and tight, didn't go anywhere. It weighs about 10 pounds and it's also uh, 4.6 kilograms. And it was very, very well wrapped together all the parts were very well packaged. Uh, everything was in place. Nothing was scratched. Everything was in working order. And it, it was just like solid. Uh, this is the handle. This is the one you're going to be using the most. And all the attachments are going to be kind of attaching to it. The little circle button is where you kind of like keep the trigger on press. We have to press the trigger all the time. And that will be kind of easier to kind of steam back and forth without pressing the trigger and moving it. So just kind of locking it in place. Yeah, there's the trigger. This is the boiler cap. And then there's the safety cap as well. So kind of turning it around. I was kind of surprised that it was actually made out of brass. It was really well quality, really, very well built. It was very heavy in my hands. I'm kind of surprised. And then uh, just kind of putting it back to see how it is. So make sure when you put on the water and you turn on the cap, just make sure it's snug, not too loose, or that thing will come flying up. And then there's the seam all the way around. Nice red color and black. Nice Ferrari color. There's the symbol. Here's the sim bar. The model number is uh, MV26. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to put everything in the comments down below where you can get it. it. Comes with two wheels, of course. Wheels are a little bit plasticky. I found them a little bit cheap. And there's the power button. When it's on, it will glow. I'll show you that too later on in the video. And here are the parts. Here's the steamer. On the right is the power cord, about 16 feet. There's the handle, the holes with it. 
there is the squeegee next to the squeegee on the left you can tell there's the two ones that comes in the box there's the five nylon brushes the one brass total of six the triangular brush there's the nozzle jet on the right manual the funnel the measure cup the two microfiber pads and there's the mop head with the glider underneath and and the back as you can tell that's where you wrap the cord i i'll show you that later on how you wrap the cord and there's the whole kit all together all the parts here's the handle and there's the nozzle press the button push it in and you're ready to go very simple here's this the brush i was talking about earlier easy to put right, like so nothing complicated and ready to go very easy very soft as well something like uh, like, like clean pots and pans now the utility brushes i had a hard time putting it as you can see i just couldn't i couldn't figure out why it wasn't going in i was trying and i was kind of forcing it and i i, I couldn't i couldn't make ends meet out of it and then I noticed that on the nozzle itself, there's a, there's like a groove. If the camera can focus uh, right there, there's a groove on it. And that groove, the utility brush has another groove that kind of fits in. It's like a, it's like a, a one shot deal. I'm pretty sure it's like a safety mechanism for the utility in quarter. If you can tell camera, I can see very well. Sorry about that. And then I finally figure out, so you kind of slide it together and it kind of fits just perfectly. So there's no other way of putting them. It's just one way. And then there's the get, take out, press the button, glides right out. There's the wands, take out the one wand. So you can use them both together. We can use one, press the button as well. Make sure when using guys, don't touch the wands because they get really hot. So you might burn yourself. So just keep away from it. And there's the triangular brush press the button click on it that's how simple it is nothing uh nothing complicated very sturdy well built i was very impressed to be honest with you i thought it was going to be really cheap now here's the power cord again it's 16 feet and the power cord uh is pretty long enough you can kind of reach a lot of places so it's 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 very well laid you kind of drag the thing all over your home with no worries and then there's a there's like a rack in the back of where you can wrap it as you can see me wrapping it i found the rack to be a little cheap i i didn't find it to be strong i i'm for sure in the near future as as it's getting old and you're wrapping the thing will kind of snap right off no, no doubt about it here's the uh, mop again steam up and in order to clean the floors, just put the two ones together, click them in place. They're not going nowhere. They will just stay tight, solid. Put it out of the handle, press the button again. It'll just lock in place. There's no way of them coming out. And then just attach the, uh, the carpet, the mop head like so, and click the button and it clicks right in place. Now I found this pretty cool feature on it this works almost like the dyson vacuum cleaners when you're kind of moving to the left and to the right it kind of pivots a bit and this mop head does the same thing as well which i find it kind of interesting there you go see it left and right how it kind of moves just like the dyson same concept but just for the steam so that's kind of cool going to tight little places i found that was kind of interesting and now i'm going to fill this with water so you take out the boarding cap and you have to use the funnel there is no way it's a small little hole i cannot tell you now the boiler capacity is 1.5 liters and it's 1500 milliliters so that's quite a, a lot and the runtime should be around 45 minutes of continuous steam that's almost an hour of using this and that was impressive and now i filled it up and i'm closing the cap again make sure the cap is snug you don't want this steam just flying right out and it has to be snug for it to work accordingly. So I'm putting this tug, I'm wrapping it around, plug it in of course, and you get the light. So that's how you know it's on. And then it's about eight to 10 minutes 
And then it was pretty cool. Got a little handle there. Keep the handle nice and nice in place. Now when you're ready to use it, remove the handle. So this is after about eight, nine minutes. So I wanted to press the trick and you saw the water coming out. That's just the build up. And there you go, there's the seam and it was loud, but it was hot and it was very strong. So now I have my running shoes. My running shoes are black. They were very dirty, but you can't see really good in the video because of the light in the background. And I was just kind of cleaning them as I was going and it was doing a good job. As you can tell, you gotta keep moving back and forth, move very quickly because if you keep it in one place, you will burn the shoe. I don't have the after when the shoe is very clean. Uh, I kind of forgot about it, but it was pretty clean. So I have the kitchen, I went to the kitchen, got some dip between the grooves and they were gone in seconds, which was amazing. Remember guys, no cleaners, just hot steam and it sterilizes at the same time. Leave some water behind, no big deal. Grab a new rag. In this case, I got the microfiber towel. I wiped it pretty clean. It will dry and that's it. Very simple, very straightforward. Here's another uh, demo. Get some uh, orange juice out. And uh, that was a tomato sauce as well. There you go, see how easy it is. No water, use the steamer, nice and fast, no chemicals. Sterilize it, cleans it. There was something there at the groove. I got that as well. That was very simple. And I saw something else. I don't know if you can see in the camera, another little spot right over there. I it came out right. Look how fast it comes out. It was just, it's just amazing. Very strong. I'm very surprised uh, for something very, uh, very well priced. Now, this is the shower. The shower is nasty. It was disgusting. And that, as you can tell, that's calcium built up from hard water. And I was working on it. I was working on it for a while before the steam was starting to penetrate it. And it was breaking it down. And it was breaking down very slowly, but it was working. And as it was breaking it down, as you can tell, the shower was becoming black from the dirt it was it was nasty i wasn't even expecting that you sometimes you don't even realize it until you do this and it was just becoming black and at the same time i was removing the calcium as well and i was scrubbing i was scrubbing for a very long time and it just that's gross but there it did the job and it did it very well and here you go there's all the dirt the calcium is removed and it was, I just had a long way to go as well. And it was just, but the after was just amazing. And here's my mattress. There's the mop head, bring out the carpet glider, snap it in, turn on the nozzle. And you're going to see the steam will be pouring out very strong steam. And it was just, there you go. See, so that's a lot of steam and go back and forth, clean your mattress very slowly killing all the bacteria, all the dust mites, and it will just smell very fresh. Well, that's all folks. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. It will help me a lot. Leave any comments down below. Remember, I'll put all the uh, information down in the comments where I purchased it, how much. And if you have any other ideas for reviews, let me know. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.